What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video, guys, we are going to talk about Mirror V2. I'm going to explain a couple of features for you guys so you guys can understand this and just a little bit of the concepts that you guys need to know going into Mirror Protocol. I will also show you guys some pretty neat strategies you guys can implement on Mirror V2. I've made a couple videos on this protocol because, well, I love the Terra Luna ecosystem and, well, I'm a lunatic. Like, literally and mentally, I guess. Maybe. I like bananas. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and explain Mirror Protocol. But first off, guys, three things for me. Like, subscribe, bell button. Leave a comment in the description below saying you subscribe. And you will automatically get thrown into that drawing to earn $100 in free BTC. And guys, don't think you're mine like that. I wasn't meaning bananas like that. I was talking about the fruit. I mean, dude, bananas are super good. Let's go ahead and talk about Mirror V2. So first off, guys, the coolest part I like about this is you can now use a UST. I've already explained the full details on a Mirror protocol, but I'm going to talk about a couple of the strategies and explain why Mirror V2 is a game changer using a UST. Because you can come over here on the farming section right here, and you can either short farm or long farm. I know you guys are looking at these rates and you're like, what? Why is it paying 5,000%? Well, it's actually not paying this much. It's like uh, 60 to 100% right now um, because I'm on testnet. I just wanted to do a couple transactions and play around with it so you guys can see it. But let's go and expand the short farm so we can understand this. AUST is the game changer. Why is this a game changer? Well, first off, if you guys don't understand how AUST works, is it's going to be providing collateral so you can borrow the GME, AKA short or sell it. Um, and you're going to be earning interest on your collateral. It's different than using UST because AUST is going to be automatically earning 20% interest. That way, when you go to withdraw and claim your AUST, it will be worth more when you get it. Yes, you will still have the same amount of tokens, but if you look at the charts, AUST versus UST, well, AUST is worth more than UST because it's automatically or auto magically earning 20% interest or just about 20% interest every single stinking day. So that's pretty fire sauce. But let's go ahead and show you guys how this is going to work and a couple numbers you need to know. The biggest number you guys need to know is this minimum ratio. So if your collateral is not at 300% when you guys are shorting this asset, well, you're going to get liquidated. What happens when you're liquidated? Well, you basically lose your money. You don't want to be liquidated. So it's not good at all. So you want to make sure this stays above the 300% rate. Typically when you're dealing with stocks, it's not as, I guess you can say volatile, but when you're dealing with something like GameStonk, GameStock is pretty volatile. I mean, it'll go from 10 bucks to 400 bucks. It's like, what the snap? Yeah, then Wall Street betters, boys. They get bored sometimes. But that's something to be careful with so you can try some of the less risky farms. So when you're providing the collateral, using AUST when you are short farming is going to be your best option because you're going to be earning interest. Where do you get AUST? You go to Anchor Protocol, just deposit regular UST, and you'll get AUST. And now we're going to go ahead and show you guys this. I'm just going to deposit UST. And because I don't have AUST, this is on the test net. I can go get some if I want to. But a couple of things you guys need to know on this. For example, a 1.5% fee of the minted value will be taken when the short position is closed. Why is this important to understand? Well, let me go ahead and describe that. why it's important. So you see this premium value right here. Right now it's 7.68%. So that's what the premium is over the or or the actual price. Why is there a premium? Well, that's the whole reason why there's a premium. Well, because more people are buying the asset than shorting it. So these are pegged assets. So in order for them to stay at a certain price, they need people both buying and shorting. So, it, whoa, geez, I'm sorry, Puffy. Buying and shorting so it keeps it at a regular rate. So if you have a bunch of people buying the asset, well, that takes the supply off the market. So they want people to make more, AKA mint or short sell. What happens is you mint in the protocol and you're selling it as soon as you're minting it. That's what shorting is. So shorting, if you really don't know the definition, is whenever you short something, if that price is $47,000 for something, 
you're shorting it at that price. So if it goes down to 40,000, you buy it back at 40,000, you repay your short off, and now you profited $7,000. That's why you hear a lot of people shorting. Um, that's just a concept to understand with shorting. Now you guys can understand why these farming interest rates are here is because a lot of people are longing these farms because they're bullish on the stock market and it makes sense. So in order to incentivize people to go short, well, they pay people to do it. And also because a lot of people don't understand how short farming works or actually just shorting the market works. So that's a concept that you guys can understand as well. And I hope that helps a bit. So that's why you have that 1.5% fee. And also, if you guys go to your page, once you mint this collateral, the collateral is going to be locked, as you guys can see right here. It's going to be total quantity of USD locked for shorting. This is going to be locked for 14 days. So right now, I basically just shorted GME, aka I just sold 3.3 GME for 612 UST because I think, oh, it's going to go down. Let me move my face. I'm just going to get rid of my face. Bye. So basically right here, as you guys can see, I sold 3.3 GME for $612. So in about 14 days, my UST is going to be unlocked. The reason they do this is because, as I mentioned to you before, when you have this position, it is off the peg. So right now, I just shorted GME. If you guys go and look at the trading section for GME, GME actually costs a dollar or $185.54. If I go to the borrow section for GME, you guys can see it's $172. There's a huge price difference. I mean, what is that? Like two, 3%? No, that's like five, or no, that's like 8%. So it's like, dude, whoa, what the pants? What is wrong with that? Well, it's off peg right now, especially on testnet. The oracles don't work entirely right um because it's on testnet but still they they have somewhat of a correct oracle like the other like a second ago btc was like 40k now it's like 30k but anyway so you guys get the point so that's the reason why the 612 is locked because if i got that 612 i can automatically just go back and buy it off the market and then sell it again and why would that be an issue well, because there's a price difference, so I'll be partaking in a 3% arbitrage. Sure, it's not a lot with like three shares or like a hundred bucks, but say we do a couple hundred million dollars, well then that's gonna be a serious issue. Because if you go on, well, you can't see it on this page, but on the main net, there's only about 1.6 billion TVL in Mirror Protocol. I'm not saying that's not a lot, but I mean, if you have about 10% of the network, partaking in arbitrage on a certain asset, well, it's definitely going to be seeing some volatility. So after about 14 days, I'll be able to reclaim this, do whatever I want with it. I can farm with it again. I can deposit it on Anchor Protocol, get some AUST, I can short farm, etc. But there's one thing you guys need to know when you guys are short farming this. There is a lot of risk with shorting because if you think the asset, or if you're just shorting it to earn interest on it, well, you could lose your shorts, literally. Because what will happen is if this asset does double in price or even not even double, like because like I mentioned to you, the collateral, right now I'm shorting it. So what will happen is if GME goes to 230 bucks or about 220 bucks, my position will be liquidated because I'll become below or I'll go below the collateralization ratio. Now, why is that? Well, because this is why. I deposited into there, I gave a certain collateralization ratio of 2000 UST. This is supposed to be 350% collateral. So if you divide 2000 by 3.5, that's going to give you $571. And hence why I have borrowed $570 is because I have a 300% collateralization ratio. So as GME goes up, that means that I owe this protocol more money because, well, it's shorted and I owe them money because I borrowed the asset, I sold it and they basically gave me the money for it. So I didn't theoretically own it. I have to return that asset at some point in time. However, if the stock just like gets wrecked or cuts in half, this collateralization ratio will go way up. So I'll be making money and I'll be earning interest. I'll be getting paid to make money. So it's kind of like, oh dude, what the snap? This is so cool. But if you're like, dude, I don't know if the stock's gonna go up or down. I don't care, I just want those mirror rewards. Well, there's a strategy you can partake in that as well. So now that I have this short position on GME, 
all you got to do is come over to the section that says trade and you just have to buy some GME on the other side. So I need to buy 3.3 shares. So I'll say I want 3.3 and I will say buy. So it'll allow me to buy it and I'm done. I'm, I'm protected because at any time I can go to my page and I can close out my position. So if you guys can see the GME is short, I can close it out at any time. Remember, guys, you have a 1.5% fee for closing that out. So I'll, I already bought the GME. So actually, I need to buy it. All right, so now I have my GME because I just bought it off the market. I can close this position at any time. But don't forget those fees, guys. The reason they have those fees is to keep people just from dumping on the market. And that's something important to understand because people can automatically just short it at a lower price. People can just short it when it's a higher price, aka sell it when it's higher, and then buy it straight on the open market at a cheaper rate. And I'm sure you guys can understand where the arbitrage will take place because they will open a short, aka sell it at well, let's say $182, they'll buy it off the open market, $172, they'll close the short and they'll profit that $10 spread. So that's why they incentivize a longer term period by having the 14 day lockup and they have the fees for closing it out. But before I close this position, I want to show you guys this. So if your position is about to be liquidated, you can adjust it at any time. You can come over here and say, oh, I need 400%. And it'll automatically say, oh, okay, well, you owe us about two thousand nine or 292 more dollars because our original deposit was 2000. So you'll just add 200 more and it'll fix your collateralization ratio. But we're gonna show you guys how to close this position. This is it. All you gotta do is buy it off the open market and you say execute, submit, and it will close your position. That's it, super easy to do, complete. You go back to my page and you see, okay, well, your position is closed and now you just hold some GME stock, good for you. Now, another important piece of information you guys need to know is the governance token, which is Mirror. Mirror is fire sauce, but a lot of people don't know how to use it. Ever since V2 launched, you can now actually make any of these polls and protocols with only as little as one Mirror token before it used to be 100 MIR. Now, if you guys are not voting on any of these rewards, you are voting on any of these polls, you are missing out on a ton of rewards. They pay, in fact, I've experienced it based on the stake of mirror that I have compared to what I am farming. I'm actually earning more mirror just by voting. When you are voting though, you have to remember that it is going to be locked during that whole entire voting period. So if you guys are getting ready to dump your tokens or you want to dump your tokens, I don't recommend voting because they will be locked up and you cannot use them. But when you're depositing your mirror, you're earning interest and you will be earning voting rewards. A little bit how the voting rewards work is if you do make this poll and your poll is rejected, you lose all the MIR that you stake and lock up there. So say if you lock up a thousand MIR, well, that is taken away and distributed to all the mirror stakers. Then all of the mirror tokens that you locked up into that poll will be returned back to you and your proposal is passed. So if you guys want to earn these rewards, make sure you guys vote on this. And this kind of explains it right here in the white paper. I've already made a couple videos on mirror guys, but I wanted to explain these simple features so you guys can understand this. If you guys want to get super risky, if you guys are like, all right, I know what I'm doing. I love this stuff. I'm short and I'm not scared to short and I'll even long it so I can earn on both sides. You can do that. You can literally short on one side and you can long. It creates a semi delta neutral because you have impermanent loss, but you will be earning rewards on both sides. Whether it goes up or down, you'll still be somewhat making it out. But keep in mind, if it goes up, you will have impermanent loss because what happens is you buy the dip. If you're providing liquidity with GME and UST, well, you're going to be buying the dip on UST with GME. Well, what does that mean? Well, GME is exploding and UST is not moving. So theoretically, you're just going to be buying a bigger bag of UST. Some of you are more comfortable with that and that's fine. But you got to understand at the end of the day, if you ever want to close out your long or short position, you need to purchase the stock back or return what you borrowed. Well, not for the long position, but for the short position at least. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So those are a couple of quick pointers so you guys can check out on Mirror Protocol. I'll also do another video on how to get your money 
on to the Terra ecosystem. A lot of peeps are asking me about that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, three things for me, guys. Like, subscribe, bell button. Leave a comment in the description below saying you subscribed. You'll automatically get thrown into that drawing to earn $100 in free BTC. And make sure you guys check out my other Mirror Protocol videos. And as always, guys, we'll leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 20, verses 7 today. So in verse 7, the righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. Amen to that, brother. Make sure you guys live blameless lives. Dogs, got to say thanks to the patrons. Sean Bott, Da Man, Tariq Liu, TL King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Taco Nacho. Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bum, bum. So next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit 100 bucks. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it